Hello, and good day people, and welcome to some more 1.8 coverage. So, um, as you can see here, uh, I have found an NPC village. So, I've played on this world a little bit before. Um, I played it with Supreme OP, and we sort of did some online play. But I couldn't really record while hosting the server, and really the server was too laggy for us to really do anything in particular on so I'm just gonna have a look around this town and uh, see what we can see so towns are pretty much as per the rest of Minecraft randomly generated um, as far as I can tell uh, obviously they've got set schematics for the houses but as far as I can tell wells are pretty much always central get one of these wells which are pretty dangerous you fall in there and you can't actually get out um, and they always seem to have one of these church things or whatever you want to call these I'm not entirely sure what they actually are supposed to be um, but they sort of look like churches they've got little stone and they've got nice little windows um, there's nothing particularly too inter interesting about them they're kind of weird because they don't work properly as you can see quite clearly here um, this church itself has spawned so you can't actually get in the doorway at all um, without fixing it that's broken a bit there um, this house is okay actually uh, there's a bit of a cave in the middle of this village apparently random cobblestone pillar there don't know why that's there don't know what that's from um, there are a couple more houses in this village as well, which are entirely balls. Um, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. As you can see, the doorway is buried. The doorway itself is actually uncovered, but you can't get down there properly. You have to dig your way in. Um, I think this one might be okay. Yeah, this one's okay. That's the one I said before. Um, but yeah, they're, they're kind of cool just finding these villagers. They're nice to find on the first night as I've done here This is my first night um, Haven't actually done anything else. I've gathered a bit of wood and some wool so I can uh, make a bed and stuff But they're nice to find because it means you don't have to spend ages hunting for food because you can just come in here grab this wheat make yourself some bread and feast up um, Which is pretty good like that um, and yeah you you can have shelter uh, the houses aren't properly lit so you kind of have to ransack the other houses for uh, torches to light the full place up but you know it's not too bad at all really it's nice to find that it's nice that they're just here um, just having a little more stuff on your world it's an interesting thing to find so also another thing, this particular village is smack bang in the middle of another new biome, I believe it's a new biome anyway, I don't think they used to exist, but it's a plains, and all that is for miles on end is a bit of water, um, as you can see, uh, long grass, this stuff, and that's it, there's no trees, there's no sand really, a bit of sand around the water, but nothing else it's literally just grass and long grass it's, it's madness and if if you want to go hunting it's a very good place to do it because um, there's a lot of cows on plains which drop both the meat and uh, leather now um, so if you get yourself a bow you can one shot them if you get yourself a stone sword you can one shot them as well which is pretty cool uh, so as you can see quite clearly uh, well, not so much quite clearly, but you can see if you look down above my XP bar there in the bottom right, uh, my food is running quite quite low right now. Um, so I'm gonna head into this building. This is my favourite building in this village, despite the fact that it's like buried. Dig my way in, uh, and you come in here, and as you can see, there's a single torch in here above the doorway. That's it. Nothing else in here. So, I'm just gonna grab all this stuff. I possibly should have saved some for turning into uh, turning into coal, but that's fine, really. It's not too big a deal. 
Uh, and I'm going to make myself a bed so I can set my spawn point to here when night time comes. Um, and yeah. Can't sleep there until night time. Um, I'm going to make myself some bread and show you how the. Uh, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, da, 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 da. Grab all those. Then, as you can see, food also stacks now, which is very nice um, because it's not ridiculously overpowered. Now, you do need large stacks of it because when you're down in dungeons, I believe food runs out. I know it runs out faster when you're sprinting, but it seems to run out faster when it's actually being used to heal you as well. Um, oh, okay. This house is, in fact, light enough to uh, sustain non-monster generation which is good so I didn't actually need to get more uh, torches there but yeah it it seems to run out faster when it's being used for um, life regeneration as well um, I can't actually confirm that I'm not entirely certain but the majority of the time it basically doesn't seem to go down at all um, it takes forever to deteriorate until um, until you've overtaken damage or you start sprinting for prolonged periods of time which is kind of interesting I suppose but at the same time I think um, it should run out enough that you actually have to eat like at least once a day but really you don't um, doesn't run out entirely and that to me seems kind of silly um, like if, if I were to stay here basically all day, it wouldn't run out enough that I'd need to eat. Um, I mean, where it was at, yeah, granted I'd only been there one day, and I just said um, it wouldn't run out fast enough, but I sprinted the entire way here, which was something like 300 blocks, uh, which took me a good couple of minutes even while sprinting. Um, from the spawn point so yeah that kind of goes to show just how slowly it does deteriorate it's kind of interesting but I would say that perhaps that does need tweaking perhaps it should be it should deteriorate faster but you know still it's a nice mechanic it adds a whole nother dimension to the game I really like the fact that now you have to eat and you can't just gulp food down and it just uh, heals you which never really makes any sense in any game but still it's a, it's a thing that's there in pretty much every game for some reason eating food puts your health back up so uh, that's going to be pretty much everything for this episode um, I showed you the empty villages uh, and the food mechanics so yeah uh, there is a ravine nearby on this world and that should have exposed mineshaft in it according to the seed thing I found um, so we'll join you guys shortly once again for that uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time Ta -ta.